glad to have you back. Now let's track the FMDQ OTC Securities Exchange for today's debt market trading. Have been joined by a fixed income trader at Axis Bank PLC, Buki Aregwashala. Buki, welcome to the program. Thank you. Now, how did the fixed income market yields opening today compare with the current yields this afternoon? The fixed income market opened on a relatively active note today, particularly on the Facebook side. Saw yields on the short and medium term on vehicles decline by about 35 to 40 basis points. However, on the bond market, in a quiet one, yields opened with high buying interest and um, we saw a bit of selling thereafter. Now, what did dealers observe in the market today? A lot of buying, particularly on the treasury, in the treasury bills market, and that can be attributed to the level of money market liquidity. Opening figures for today was about 568 billion. Now, what are your expectations in terms of liquidity for the markets for the rest of this week? We expect liquidity to decline as the week um, runs to an end, and that's because tomorrow there's going to be FX provisioning. This should take out liquidity from the market. And the fact that the CBN has been trying to issue an OMO bill for the past few days, if they are successful before the weekend, that would also impact the market. And also the fact that um, there's no next treasury bill maturity coming into the market this week. Uh, Buki, kindly yeah. give us a short-term outlook for the market, say, for the month of April. We expect yields to increase this month of April, and that's because the monetary policy stance of the central bank remains contractionary, and also the fact that the um, next credible maturity coming into the market this month is quite low compared to previous months. So we expect that um, going forward, particularly from opening next week, yields should begin to rise. Thank you so much, Buki Aregwashala, fixed income trader with Axis Bank. And Sh uh, Japan Sharp Corporation has signed a takeover deal with Taiwan's Foxconn in what would be the largest acquisition by a foreign company in Japan's insular technology sector. Dozens of journalists crowded a media room in Sakai Display Products Corporation uh, in Sakai, Osaka Prefecture, Japan. The Taiwanese firm, known formally as Hanhai Precision Industry Company, has offered to invest 659 billion yen in shop. As part of the new business strategy with Hanhai Precision Industry Company, we have signed the deal today. It has taken out a lot of effort to get here. I thank President Terry and Honhai Associates. My direction of turnaround is clear. We will focus on helping Sharp to transform its technology into products in a speedy and cost competitive way with highest quality. Okay, and that note, we've come to the end of Business Incorporated. Many thanks for watching. We do appreciate your time with us on the program. I am Bolaji Akimwali.